up guys welcome to another blender video and today we're gonna look at UV mapping so last video I made this head as you can see it's completely ruined uh, on the forehead the, the top the back so we're gonna try and fix that today uh, so the first thing that I'm gonna do I'm not gonna use this texture okay I made a separate texture so I'm just gonna Create a new material, click new, I'm going to call it head, and I'm going to go to base color, image texture, open, and I think it's this one, I've been experimenting with, with some other stuff, and now, there we go, so what I did was, I basically copy and pasted this head, I made the forehead that used to be a shadow because of the helmet the same color as this as the skin to the skin tone and I duplicated it as you can see here because if I want to add tattoos on like on this side of the neck or this uh, like on the forehead on on this cheek I can just do that and also added the ear because obviously I need that and now I'm gonna assign the material. And it's gonna be all fucked up, but it's not an issue. I'm gonna put the specular at zero, and the rest I think is fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I need to mark seams, okay? Because think about this this object. Like basically, this texture is a two D uh, projection of this three D model. If if you wrap this texture around the head, if you think about it, if you try to imagine it in your head, uh, it's it's gonna wrap as perfectly as you can while UV mapping to this to this model. I'm gonna put some images on the screen so you can understand what's going on. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna first clear uh, sharps because I don't need those. Now I'm gonna select what I need to to mark seam. So usually when wrapping a head, okay, that doesn't work. Usually when wrapping a head, we like to wrap in the middle make a line in the middle because it's usually obscured by hair and with this type of texture I don't think it's really noticeable the seam now I just mark seam uh, you can also do the under the nose I'm not going to do that but that's an option also like to Select this, mark seam. You could also do the neck, but I don't want the seams to be noticeable. You gotta be smart about the seams. And I'm gonna I'm gonna seam the off this uh this this ear so you can understand what I'm trying what a seam is exactly. And I'm gonna mark seam, and there we go. Now what we can do select the entire thing press u and then click unwrap okay now this is i believe i'm not sure what this is let me just quickly select it it's probably the back or some part of the ear yeah so i'm just going to put these to the side i'm not going to mess with them right now and now you can select this rotate by 90 you can type same as as if you were uh, doing a model now I'm just gonna try and place it where it should be right under the nose is around there 
and I'm also gonna hide the the faces. Now usually you don't UV map like this, you usually make the texture after you UV map it. But seeing the circumstances, this is the kind of stuff that I do. So the the nose is spot on, kinda. <laughs> I just need to fix the nostrils. But it's on the right place. And we're gonna start moving the the stuff, right? So I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff, moving them over to where they should be. And I might speed this up because this is practice really. Like you gotta, you just gotta do this. Like it's, it's very time consuming, but it's worth it. And eventually you'll get to a place where you know what you're doing and the results are just good. Now, as you can see, I'm not the best uh, UV mapper in the market right now. Uh, there's a lot of stretching, but we can try and fix that by clicking here, going to view. Actually, we need to do this first. Going to view, overlays, stretching, right? Now the blue is the color you want, dark blue. Uh, if it starts going to green, if it starts going to yellow, then you'll see stretching like this, right? So a way to fix that is trying not to stretch the this as much. So if this is yellow, you know, with this kind of topology, is it's a bit hard to to fix stuff like this because there's just a lot of stretching going on that nobody likes.
are the ears. The ears are very, very easy. You just get those suckers and add them in. And then you have the upper layer because I I seen I made a seam there. These are the same controls as the when you model. You know, you can have something like this just very quickly. As you can see, there will be a visible seam here. It's more visible because this part is really stretched. have a, a full mesh we're gonna make sure there's no vertices that are lonely we need to hug them with each other and now you can I'm gonna move the lips a bit just a little bit now I'm just messing around at this point uh, but this is just to show you that you have a lot of freedom in how you do how you texture and how you do UV mapping. I'm doing this by pressing S, scaling. Also gonna scale the years. Yeah, there we go. Now I could spend a lot more time on this and try and fix every little thing that I dislike about it, the hairline, the, the eyes, they look a bit weird to me. But now what I'm going to do, since I have the texture laid out like that, I'm going to move one of the halves of the face to the other side. So that if I want to have like a tattoo on the other side of the face, or a teardrop, or just anything, I can simply go on Photoshop or even do it in Blender with texture paint and add the thing I want to add. Now as a disclaimer, this is... This might not be the best way to UV map in Blender. I'm not very knowledgeable knowledgeable when it comes to to UV mapping. I usually do it in Maya and not Blender. I also do it with much higher uh, polys, poly models, such as this one. So yeah, it might be a little weird because I don't have a lot of experience, but I, f I feel like I have enough knowledge to uh, pass it along to you. And when you watch this video, I think you'll understand the, the kind of workflow that you need to adapt to, to your needs. You're going to be able to find that out, I think. I'm also going to make a couple of videos on UV mapping shirts, which is much easier for me and for everybody. <laughs> Uh, maybe tattoos, stuff like that. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if you want to see any kind of video, if you need help with anything, let me know. Or just go on the Discord that I provide in the description and ask questions. And I'll see you later.